This is Maze Jackson, and you're rolling out. I'm quick to put my ego in check and to humble myself. Humble myself in a way not to be disrespected, but to defer to the larger presence or the, or the larger people in the room. And I look to, instead of making myself look like the big man, provide them with insight and information that will allow them to shine so that they always tend to rely on me for advice. But what I recognize in when you get into an argument, there's a point in which both people stop listening. And the volume may go up um, because you're trying to get someone to listen, but as the volume goes up, they tune out and they just become further entrenched into their own thought process. It no longer is about logic, but about defeating you in the argument. So, when you recognize that you've gotten to a point into an argument where you're not able to, when, when the volume is increasing and the person is no longer even hearing what you're saying, then it's time to ratchet it back, sit down, and figure out a different strategy. Um, oftentimes, I don't tell people, I show them. You know, oftentimes, the way to lose is by asking for someone to give, give, give without the thought of what the re reciprocity is. I think that in real winning situations, if I want to continue to work with you and continue to do business with you, I want to do business with someone that when I help them or when I work with them, it also may, it benefits me. So create win-win situations. Don't try and beg and don't go in from that situation because usually someone that comes in begging is someone that's weak and can't benefit you in the long run anyway. You never know who's in the room. Oftentimes, the person that speaks the softest, dresses the worst, is often the person that may have the power. So before you judge someone based on the car they drove, the suit that they're wearing, or the external appearances, make sure you know who's in the room. And I operate with a level of confidence that when I operate with that confidence in my world, I don't really concern myself with the things that I can't control, but the things that I can control I know that I can control them and do them to the best of my ability, and I know I'm pretty damn good at them. So with that in mind, I have the confidence when I walk through the streets to know that I am a king. Now, if you don't recognize it, I'm sorry that you don't, but I do and I have it in my heart. And so I carry myself with a level of confidence because I know that within the realm of where I dwell, I rule. Doing it live but rolling out, from the Next Generation Leadership Council, peace.